Hey everyone, we're going to simplify this complex rational expression. So the first thing you want to do is take care of this denominator here. And if I write this a over 1, and my common denominator will be a. So you merely uh, just, you can kind of cross, do the butterfly here, and that's going to be a squared plus 1. So you're going to have a plus 1 divided by a squared plus 1 divided by a. All right, and then um, what you can do is you have this a here. You can move this a up here because, let's go over that. This is my thinking thing. Um, 1 divided by a squared plus 1 divided by a is the same as you keep, change, and flip. So when you multiply this across, you get a divided by a squared plus 1. So basically, you just multiply those two. And what we're going to get, therefore, is a plus a divided by a squared plus 1. Now my common denominator, my least common denominator is going to be a squared plus 1. So we're going to write that out and go ahead and just cross here. And you get a times a squared plus 1 plus a. And then, um, or you could write it out even further. You could do uh, a times a squared plus 1 divided by a squared plus 1 equals, uh, not equals, plus um, a over a squared plus 1. Kind of skipped a step. And since they're the same, I put it all over this. Now, let's go ahead and uh, factor, uh, expand this a little bit. We get a cubed plus a squared plus a all right, and um, oh, this is just a, so this is over a squared plus 1, so that's going to be a cubed plus 2a over a squared plus 1, and if you want, you can factor out an a here on this one and get a times a squared plus 2 divided by a squared plus 1. And that's kind of factored out for you. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.